The Experimental Aircraft Association uh, was founded in the very early 1950s. Uh, there are chapters all over the world. Uh, we have a very active chapter here at the Lebanon uh, Municipal Airport. Worldwide, we have about 180,000 members. We just had our, our yearly air venture fly-in at Oshkosh, Wisconsin, uh, where upwards of uh, seven to 800,000 people uh, uh, attended during a week-long event, and over 12,000 airplanes. Top AC, which uh, has never flown before at Oshkosh, this year uh, were the uh, U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. So the event today is a is a breakfast. We do this four times a year on Saturdays, where there are five Saturdays in a month, and uh, we publicize through uh, through the uh, social media that we're having to fly in, and people will fly in their airplanes and have a nice breakfast and and just uh, get together, uh, reminisce, tell war stories, and and just just have fun uh, around aviation. Um, back in the summer. Uh, as you know, Trey, we hosted the Ford Trimotor, which was a very successful event. We sold over 250 rides uh, and watched this magnificent airplane uh, fly out of the Lebanon airport for, uh, for four days. One of the things that we try to do is promote general aviation to the public. What we try to do with our chapter is draw some young people in, and we do that in a variety of ways. Number one, in the summertime, in June and July, we, we fly uh, FOP kids, that's Fraternal Order of Police. And uh, Nashville policemen have these camps all summer long for mostly inner city youths, and they have a week long camping experience with them and they bring them out here on Thursday afternoons and we fly them and this summer we we flew six different weeks and we flew uh, well over 300 kids but we also fly any other time a lot of other times during the year where we will have local groups come out and we'll fly the kids trying to promote aviation